just wrapped up yes. just a plastic bottle. Yeah. What made you decide to do it and how does plastic affect you? Right, so when I when you told me about the script, I just thought, but that's me because every day I wake up in the morning and there's tons of plastic crap in my house, right? Because I've got a kid who's five and everything that everybody ever buys for a child outside of our house is plastic. Mm. So my heart sinks, Christmas, mm. more plastic. And there's a certain restaurant that children like to go to. Can we mention? No, maybe not. <laughs> no. Right. So they entice the kids in with the idea that you're going to get a prize at the end of it, yeah, which right. I think is really manipulative. And it is, guess what, more plastic mm. and it's usually rubbish that they they look at it and they go oh yeah this is great and then it ends up in a box i've got a box in my house full of this plastic crap Jeez. and if i throw it out he'll go mommy do you remember that thing i got with the wheels on it and the bits of string and i go no and it, it, he will get really upset so i can't chuck it out i have to put it in the box yeah. So it just builds and grows. So it just drives me nuts. We bought him a train set, a wooden train set. Right. Um, I didn't play with it anymore because, <sighs> you know, it's just, the plastic is colourful. Yes. And those adverts on the TV, right, so you've got these adverts. In between the children's programmes, advertising all this stuff, most of it's plastic. Mm. So we're drowning in it. Yes. It must be so much harder when you've got a child mm. as well because... Yeah. You know, it's not only you have to buy, well, you don't have to, but birthday presents, yeah, Christmas yeah, presents, all of as that. you say. Yeah. But also, how do you instill in your child? Yeah. How do you get to that point where, look, we can't buy any more plastic? Yeah. And especially if the child picks out the toy, how do you, how do you get around that? Well, I have tried, to, you know, they're doing a lot of, at school now about all of that kind of stuff and the recycling and everything. We're really hot on the recycling stuff. Right. But if everything is made of plastic, you don't have a lot of options. No, no. You know, so you start with the baby and you've got the wet wipes and the nappies. Mm -hmm. Now that bothered me a lot. Um, and then, you know, it, it just it escalates from there. And then you become obsessed with you're not going to use that. But actually, when you're in the middle of nowhere, you can't have a, you know, like a, a, a piece of cloth. No, no, for no, a no, no. You know, you just can't. You try, but you just can't. You have to give in to it. And then it goes, and then I used to get really worried about it going into the landfill. Because that's where it goes, and then what? Mm. I took him to the Museum of London. Right. And I showed him the Fatberg. What's that? Okay, so the Fatberg was this massive clog under the sewers in London, yeah? And it was underneath, I can't remember where it was, but it was in London. It affected us where I live in Kingston. And it basically was fat, hair, wet wipes oh clogged gosh. together no yeah so it was the size of a double decker bus no way so that we had this massive you know the, the, the sewage was coming out it was horrific nothing could pass through they had to hack through it and they have some of it at this museum wow and when we showed it to the kids they were so disgusted that he said we never go you know those toilet wipes so we, ban we don't use any of that. We banned all that stuff. Okay. I, w I think everyone should get a beer day and then we don't even have to use toilet roll. Sorry, I just do. Because it's just, where's it go? Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. So does your son, son, mm -hmm. get the connection between this fat bug and yeah. plastic? Yeah, because now he says you can't put that down the toilet. Right. We were using those little wipes because he's five, you know, training and all the rest of it. Um, but as soon as we saw the fat bug, he came home and said, no, mummy. We can't use those now. Look what it's done. So they are okay. very hot on it, kids, right. now. I think okay. they're really, you know, they're really, um, they want to make sure that, that they're doing the right thing. And I showed you a couple of videos. One was yeah. the, um, you know, and they were basically of footage of the plastic that's mm. in the ocean. Yeah. I mean, I think those were genuine tears, yeah. weren't yeah. they? Oh, I yeah, mean, no, it was horrible. I just, I get really um, upset when it affects animals mostly, because they are they're innocent in this. You know, someone goes to the beach with a six pack, that's great if you want to go and drink at the beach, but don't leave your plastic. Mm. I mean, we don't need to do that. It just mm. drives me nuts. Mm. Really, it really upsets me. 
So where do you go from here? I mean... I think everyone's got to do their bit and it doesn't matter how small. Mm. I mean, it's like in the, in the film, one bottle. Exactly. You know, exactly. everyone. Exactly. I've got a friend who lives on the beach and they comb the beach. Everyone right. Goes, yeah, they go out and they, they pick up the stuff on the beach. Okay. I get really angry when I go to the park, I live near Richmond Park. So at the weekend, people come from outside of our area and they leave their crap every. And you just think, why? Mm. Why would you do that? It just, I think people need to be told. If they drop something, you need to tell them. And people feel ashamed about that. It's not acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable to chuck rubbish. But this new, like my son, his generation, I don't think they're going to do that. He picks up tiny. We went to the really? cinema, yeah. And he puts all his rubbish in his little bag and then he takes it outside and puts it in a dustbin and if he sees people that are leaving stuff it get, he gets very bothered why mm. aren't they picking it up mummy look um. look at the mess they've made so it's it's i think it's it's all about starting with the very young okay but yeah i mean it's just got to it's got to start it's you know we may be too late but hopefully we're not and we just got to do it now yes way overdue yeah way, way overdue, overdue. Thank you so much for the interview. That's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.